The rebound, Charles Payne is the host of Making Money with Charles Payne from the Fox Business Network. Good morning, Charles. Good morning. You know, uh, well, you know Ed, this yeah, is a uh, dilemma. No, I was going to say, this is a dilemma that we saw immediately because, you know, we had these unemployment benefits, which were augmented with an extra 600 bucks, which for a whole lot of Americans meant they were making a lot more money not working and working. At the same time, we got the PPP program, uh, which, uh, you know, helped small businesses to retain workers. And we saw over and over where workers are actually offended or upset when their bosses said, hey, come back to work. So we saw immediately that the unintended consequences of both of these dual actions, both designed to help Americans, uh, where they're going to create conflict. Charles, let me give you a real world example. I talked to a restaurateur who said he's trying to get his workers back because he's starting to paint, he's starting to get the restaurant open, and several workers told him, ah, I'm kind of scared to come back into New York City. Um, and he said, okay, maybe they're generally scared. I want to force them. And then in the next breath, these workers, a couple of them, he said, said, but if you pay me cash, I'll come back. He found out later they're claiming unemployment benefits. So what they're doing is they're double dipping and they like the idea that they've got the enhanced unemployment benefits, but they don't want to come in unless he throws them some more cash. First of all, that's not appropriate. You're not supposed to do that. But secondly, right. how do these businesses compete with the unemployment benefits that might be more than these workers are actually making per week? It's a, this is a, the real serious dilemma that we've got in this country because we don't want anyone to be hurting out there. We want everyone to be able to survive to get to the other side of this. So, uh, but I, I think the 600 bucks was, was a lot. I think if, you, if the government does anything else, they're going to have to probably start to, to wean that down. And, and, you know, we saw this also after the Great Recession with extended unemployment. The Congressional Research Service put out a piece in May of 2013 where they said, the timing, generosity, and duration of these extended benefits can actually backfire, uh, where people wait to the very last moment till the, all the extra benefits have been exhausted to look for work and consequently ended up being unemployed for even longer yeah. than they might have been otherwise. So it's a delicate balancing act. Yeah, well, it's widened the lens about the economic pain people are feeling right now.